Hello everyone and welcome back to another figure review. Today I'm gonna show you IG-86, the assassin droid from the Clone Wars Wave 3. Really really nice figure. I've had this guy for a while but I haven't got around to review him. I really don't know why. Still, here he is. He probably got uh, the best articulation of all Clone Wars figures. He's got a swivel neck, ball uh, swivel and ball hinged sh uh, shoulders, ball hinged elbows, swivel wrists with a hinged like upper hand or you know like this so you can grab things. Opening claw I guess you could call it. Swivel waist, um, swivel and ball hinged hips, ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles comes with two droid rifles. I've got the one with the bluish um, guns. And they just clip onto his backpack right there. And the backpack is removable. It's just a peg and then you just slot it into the home. On his back. And where here's the box. This picture there of uh, IG-86 and I'll read you from the back. It says, an IG-86 assassin droid lies deactivated in a Trandoshan trader's cargo hold until a buyer can be found for the dangerous droid. But he is accidentally reactivated by a clumsy astromech droid and the, the lives of everyone on board the ship are in peril. Really nice figure. Seen in um, the Clone Wars Episode 6. The clumsy astromech droid is R3S6 or Goldie, and I've got that one. He's really, really cool. My only Clone Wars astromech. Yeah. Um, I think that was it for this review. Yeah. But he's absolutely perfect. You can almost get him into any pose you want, you know, you can have him like this, like this, like, you know, just think, uh, get this figure, think of a pose and try to do it, you know, mostly it will work if it doesn't require a ball jointed head or something like that, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this review, next up I will do a such Ventress, so keep your eyes out for that. Thanks for watching and bye.